A Monday morning fire in Lansing has left one child dead and three others hospitalized. The fire broke out at 204 East Cavanaugh Road in the old Everett neighborhood. First responders say the house was fully engulfed in flames when they did arrive on scene. The fire reportedly broke out near the rear of the house. One child died in the house and a mother and two children were able to get out of the fire and they're now being treated at a local hospital. The fire is still being investigated and more details will be released as we get them. A judge has denied a motion asking to move the case against the parents of the accused Oxford school shooter, Ethan Crumbly. However, the judge has also granted a motion to restrict pretrial publicity in the case. James and Jennifer Crumbly had asked the court to restrict pretrial publicity, change the location of the trial, and exclude evidence that they argue is irrelevant. Oakland County Prosecutor Karen McDonald argued the motion should be denied. James and Jennifer Crumbly are each charged with involuntary manslaughter in connection with their son's alleged attack, which left four Oxford High School students dead in November of last year. And we do have good news for drivers, as gas prices have finally dropped below that $5 mark in more parts of the state, just in time for the 4th of July weekend. AAA reports that the national average for a gallon of unleaded gas is sitting at $4.90 as of Monday. That's down $0.08 cents from a week ago, but remains $0.30 cents higher than a month ago. Prices have a long way to go to get back to last year's average, when the average for a gallon was $3.10 nationally. President Biden asked Congress last week to approve a 90-day pause of the federal gas tax, but lawmakers have not yet voted on that at this time. Many counties across the state are averaging under the $5 mark. Michigan as a whole is averaging $5.20 for gas. Hurricane season could also shake up the prices and they could skyrocket if a tropical storm hits.